What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna set up the calendar for our agency sub account. So we're gonna be in our agency sub account here and then we're gonna to go to the calendars tab and then we're gonna click calendar settings and then we're gonna click new calendar. And this is gonna pop up with a box so that we can set up our calendar. We're just gonna name it. We'll just do this one business appointments. And then for the description, you can just leave that blank. The appointment title will be the contact's first name when it shows up on your calendar meeting location. Let's just say these are going to be Zoom calls, so we'll just do Zoom. And then you can select your event color that pops up on your calendar. Let's just do green. And then this link to calendar box. So earlier I showed you guys a video on how to connect your Google Business Suite to your Go High Level account. And so if you've done that, you'll be able to see your Google Suite here, and then you'll be able to select one of your Google calendars that you've set up. And so these are all my Google calendars. I'm just going to select one of them here. And then for sync option, I'm going to do two way. When I select two way, this means any appointments that show up on my go high level calendar will also show up on my Google calendar and vice versa. And then we're just going to hit continue. And then we're going to set up the availability of appointments on our calendar. The slot duration just means how long the appointments are going to be. We'll just leave that at 30 minutes. Slot interval is just the times that we want people to be able to book. So if we do a 30 minute slot interval, they'll be able to book at noon, noon 30, 1, 1 and so on. Buffer duration between appointments is the amount of time you want to separate between each appointment just to give yourself some time to cool down or if some appointments go over time, you want to have a buffer duration. I'm just going to set mine at zero because I just want back to back appointments with no buffer in between. Appointments per slot, we're just going to do one. If you have a team of people and you guys can double book hours and you guys can both be making calls at the same time, then you can do more than one. But if you're just a one man shop like I am, you probably just wanna have one appointment per slot so people don't double book and you have to cancel on people. And then appointments per day. If you're working an eight hour work day and we have 30 minute slot intervals, then we're just gonna do like 16 appointments per day. And then we'll go down to scheduling notice. For minimum scheduling notice, basically you don't want somebody to be able to book on the current hour because if they book and you're not in go high level, you're not gonna see that they booked the appointment and then you're gonna miss it and then you'll have to reschedule. And so we wanna make them wait a certain amount of time before they can book so that we have time as the business owner to go in, check our calendar, make sure we saw that they booked that appointment and get ready for that call. And so I like to do two hours for my minimum scheduling notice, just so I have a two hour time from when they book to be able to get there, make sure I have time to get on the computer and be on that call. And then date range is the amount of time into the future that somebody can book. So I like to do five days. There's actually been studies that show if you let somebody book past five days out, that their likelihood of showing up to that appointment will drop significantly. And so I like to keep mine at no more than five days. And then there, your office hours are the days of the week that you're willing to take appointments and that somebody can book a call on your calendar for. I usually just work Monday through Friday, but if you're a workhorse, you can select Saturday and Sunday and you can take calls on those days as well. I'm gonna deselect those because I'm just a Monday through Friday kind of guy. And then you can select your hours. So 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., that's a normal nine to five. That's good for me. But if you wanted to like expand your hours to like seven to five, you could, or seven to seven and work 12 hours a day and have spots open for 12 hours a day for people to book, by all means, go ahead. And then you don't have to type it out every time. You can just go to apply all and it'll apply that time to all of the days of the week. But I'm just gonna switch this back to eight to five um, and then hit apply all and then we'll hit continue. And then this last page is for the confirmation after somebody's booked that appointment with you. And so we're just gonna leave custom form here. We're gonna use sticky contact. Sticky contact is when somebody's filling in their name, email, and phone number when they're booking the appointment. Instead of them having to type in their name and their email and phone number, it'll automatically pop into those boxes for them. And so it just saves them time and allows them to book the call quicker, which we want. So we're gonna select this. Right here, you can actually charge people to book an appointment with you. If you're like a coach or a consultant, then you can charge people for your time and you can set that up right here. But we're just gonna pretend like we're doing sales calls for free. And so we're not gonna select that for now. And then once somebody's booked an appointment, we just wanna send an email to the contact. It's gonna be automated. And then we wanna send an email internally to ourselves. Um, just to let us know that somebody's booked a call with us. So I'm going to type in my email there. We're going to leave these all checked and then we're going to check allow Google Calendar to send invitations or update emails to attendees. A lot of people use Google Calendar and so we want to select that one. And then down here, I don't really change anything. And once somebody hits submit to booking the call with you, you can either do a custom thank you message on a landing page that says, you know, thank you for your appointment request. 
yada, yada, yada. And you can customize this and type whatever you want. Or when they hit submit, you can redirect them to your website or another URL that you would find useful for them. And so to do that, you would just select form submit redirects URL, and then you would type in the website name that you wanna redirect them to after they hit submit on booking the appointment. But we're just gonna do the custom thank you message for now until you have your website set up and then we're gonna hit complete. Right here you can see the calendar we just created and if you wanna get the link to be able to send to people so they can book a call right on your calendar, you can just click this right here. So this is what it will look like when somebody books a call with you. We're just gonna to select tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. We're gonna select that date and you can see Sticky Contact did its job. It automatically put in my name and then phone number and email and then somebody will click book appointment. And then there's a section where this person can leave you a note before the appointment if they have any certain questions that they want you to answer and that kind of thing. But other than that, you can just hit skip and then they can add the appointment straight to their Google Calendar or to their Outlook. I hope this video has really helped you guys learn how to set up your calendar and customize all the different features within it. And I hope you guys start getting a ton of booked appointments and start making a bunch of money.